we've already had a rotation in technology. I don't know if Russia has, and Ukraine has had any impact at all on what we, did it have anything to do with that 8 percent, uh, well, it was a 7 percent turnaround in the NASDAQ one day uh, last week. The NASDAQ, does it matter what happens with Ukraine or, or is, is, are there other forces that, that you're more concerned with? There are uh, so many things being uh, in that witch's brew uh, right now when it comes to tech stocks. Uh, uh, so y Ukraine and the Russian situation just adds to the, the volatility. I, probably the bigger driver, though, is what's going to happen with interest rates. And your discussion, just the three of you right now, kind of indicates the challenge that tech investors face, at least near term, which is uncertainty over interest rates. A rising, aggressively rising interest rates hurt future profitability, high multiple stocks. And those that's part of the NASDAQ. That's part of the tech market that's traded off the most. That sector, which has held in the best, have been the uh, highest quality names, the names in terms of business models and in valuations. So in the space I look at, the Amazons and the Googles of the world have traded roughly in line with the S&P 500 or a little bit better and much better than, uh, than NASDAQ. And the highest multiple names, those have been the ones that have traded off the most. My guess is that this is going to be the case for uh, for consumer tech for the foreseeable future, you know, for two or three months until we really get interest rate future visibility. And then you'll start seeing high growth, high multiple names come back. But that's yeah. going to we're still we're still a ways from that. The, the high multiple, the growth names, the story stocks, the clo the. Uh the, the opposite of the reopening trade, all those stocks, they are already some of them are down 30 and 40 percent, Mark. And that was long before yeah. The, yeah. the troops even started building up. So it just seems like it, 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 it doesn't. There's other factors at work that, that are even more important. I guess things got really hairy, which they are. They are obviously maybe it would make a difference. But I, I would try. That, that seems like noise that you you in your job, you can't really use it to make decisions on, on what to buy or, or what to sell. It seems like as a tech uh, analyst, tech strategist, you've really almost become a Fed analyst or a Fed strategist. So that's what I'm dealing with. I, and again, I'm looking for some sort of stability in the future rate for interest rates, and that's going to help put a bottom and allow uh, uh, growth stocks to once again outperform. But I think we're still a couple of months from now. So I don't know. This is my 11th or 12th you know, major correction in tech stocks over the last 25 years. And uh, the average duration has been longer than this. I'd be surprised if all of a sudden we snapped out of uh, what we're uh, what we're facing now. I do want to uh, say that, you know, you want to focus on the highest quality names. So, again, in the space, it's, it's the best balance sheets, the, the most profitable businesses. That's your Amazons, your Googles, maybe Facebook and Apple and Microsoft would be in there as well. And then maybe the recovery names, too. I, I think Uber and Lyft, those kind of pure recovery names, you know, reopening names, I think those will benefit. And then there are these there's kind of Venn diagram stocks that are kind of in the middle of that. And it's really the travel names, surprisingly, that have got you know wonderful balance sheets, very reasonable market valuations, and are clear recovery names because consumers are starting to come back and starting to book for summer travel. The bookings and Expedia's of the world. I, I, I find that those have been the stocks that have most outperformed in consumer internet for precisely that reason. They're at the Venn diagram of quality and recovery. I think that trade can still work for the foreseeable future. And I mean by that, you know, a month or two.